Good morning, another unpacking video for you of this huge six inch LED clock that we're going to use in our church, keep our pastor on time. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about it too, and we're going to show you how to set the clock. That's one of our instructional videos. Thank you for being here. I am Reverend Dr. Dan Renfro. Glad to be here with you today. Hey, pro tip, don't take that plastic covering off of the, the front of the clock before you get done installing it completely because there's a lot of places it can get rubbed. Hey, don't forget on the back also, this place for a battery takes a CR battery, doesn't run the clock, but keeps your time. This remote is going to be your very best friend. You have to learn. There is a curve on learning to use it, just like your remote for your Time Warner or, or whatever your cable company is at home. It's very, very put together well. It's easy to use. I see some videos that say it's not, but it's, it is easy to use. And in fact, this is one of the few places that has a great instruction manual. That it's step by step, if you follow it, you can't go wrong. You go from turning the clock on looking like this to setting the time looking like this literally in about six steps this is our installation we put in the back of the church trying to keep our pastor on time so this is from about 35 foot from the front of the church the pulpit and it installs it, it we really installed this and i'm not a construction guy in about 35 minutes it really really is nice we don't have that old clock look now we have this great new thing in the back and it is seamless i did tell you the remote is your friend i'm going to tell you how to use it right now you're going to push this button right here, the T set. You see it right here. Once you set the T set, it's going to make those first two set of uh, numbers light up. That's your hour. And then you're going to press the up or down, not those two pointy buttons that we do on a remote at home. The up and down, these right here. You're going to put those up, or we can enter on the keypad. We can just put the time in there and be done. Well, actually, just for those two. So, like 08 right there. Then you press the mode button, this button right here in the middle, to set the minutes. And then you, because they'll start to flash, you'll know you're in the right place. Finally, you're going to set mode again. It's going to take you to the second. On, it's actually going to be like a, look like a different screen. Then the time setting, all the other functions are, are pretty much the same. Remember the up and down. That's super important as opposed to these two buttons here. You're going to use the mode button to go forward. And then this red or this green button up here on the top right, this is your return button. It's like your half circle arrow button that takes you back on your remote at home. This is going to get you back. You're done, ready to go to the next function. And we're going to do some videos about every function on here. This is really, really, I love this clock. Been wanting one for a long time. Got excited uh, to be able to get one and do a review for it. I think you're going to like it. In fact, if you get one, you can't not like it. It has everything. And if it's for your church, you're going to be keep your pastor on time in a subtle way. If it's for meetings or whatever it's for, the countdown feature is really, really cool. It does keep you on time. It makes you start on time, end on time. That makes your meetings more effective. I enjoy it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please press the button that says uh, helpful and um, tell your friends. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.